everyone, T here. This is episode 204 of the End AIDS series that it began December 1st, World AIDS Day 2021. And it is Southern Time Productions uh, Funding Drive, Day 170. And it is June 22nd, 2022 today. Five twos in there, that day. Um, so yeah, I'm tired, super tired. Slept in, got my son to his home care late. And then I had breakfast and then I rested for another hour. Just yesterday took a lot out of me. And say the stress of what's happening or not happening with the funding for the Southern Time Band. Um, that's, uh, you know, uh, feels like my dream's slipping away. Um, you know, it could still be um, if we get funding in this week or the latest next week, we could still make a show. But if it doesn't happen next week, you know, it's not gonna, we're not gonna be, the Southern Times is not gonna be able to perform. AIDS 2022, we missed out on this great opportunity um, to um, not only uh, help the Southern Time Band gain public profile, um, which w would, um, Prove proof concept to potential investor of Southern Time Productions, and uh, we could get funding for my company so we could start pre production of the first se season of the Dreamer series um, this fall. Um, that doesn't have if we don't make and but other than that, it would show the world that that uh, you know help combat HIV stigma and all that, and um, you know, because AIDS. Uh, 2020 2030 was the year you part of UN AIDS uh, or UN sustainable development goals and UN AIDS is a is one of the subsets of the UN that wants to end AIDS and their goal was to end it at 20 by third 2030 no one ever die from AIDS again and um, and so it's already 2022 and still at least half a million people are still dying from AIDS every year so um, you know how are we going to do that we got to get people who are vulnerable and don't, don't have access to medi good Medicare and a, a social support system because that's so important to health. You need to have somebody looking out for you. If you don't, then, you know, like if, even though I'm in Canada and I had universal health care, they try to pin a $200,000 bill on me. And it's like, no, I'm disabled. I'm, you know, and, and they for the, say, oh, okay. <laughs> but, you know. If somebody wasn't it see can't help universal health care isn't always for free and um, but besides that if I didn't have my parents there found looking out for me coming into the hospital once or twice every day for six months I would not be here I, I let completely believe that they if it was by th knowing them them looking out for that me loving me is uh, why I'm still here today and so, um, yeah, so that's, you know, I would highly doubt UNA, UNN will be able to end AIDS by 2030. But um, we can definitely end it in the 2030s. Um, and Southern Time Productions, in concert with the Southern Time Foundation, which will directly help lower rates of HIV, AIDS, and vulnerable communities around the world. Um, we can do that. We want to be a part of that solution. Um, and you know, healthcare when it's for profit, you know, sorry, you know, that's, you're mixing two goals in one. It's like that famous verse from the, the Bible, you cannot serve two masters, right? You can't serve both health and the, um, and you cannot be, um, what's that called? Selfless, um, uh, altruistic, altruistic about wanting to help people's health that have live and have healthy lives but I want to make a lot of profit too actually that's my main goal for my shareholders of course and so um yeah you know our world is so messed up our world is so messed up another thing that the Bible says a lot of Christians don't know this is that our world the earth is ruled by Satan and uh and it truly is you know from Peter Nygaard Jeffrey Epstein and all those connections like Bill Gates and uh um, Clinton what's his first name forget his first name now 
Uh, Bill Clinton, Bill Clinton. Two Bills. Bill's a bad name <laughs> in the 21st, tw end of 20th century. Um, but, um, yeah, and, and go to show this, even this AIDS 2022, I'll, I'll say it. It's, it's, it's a, it's a pharmaceutical, it's a corporate whorehouse. It's, it's selling the wares. And they have this little thing called the Global Village, you know, which is big for people with HIV. It does a lot for us to meet, be in a room with 5,000 other people, mostly HIV positive. And, you know, and you learn about all these other cultures, which is so cool. Most people who aren't in the world never get to learn, meet other people from, from within that, coming from that culture in the same room, right? You, you meet immigrants uh, who've been living here or adapting or trying to adapt to the, the, the culture that they're living in now, but you don't get the real raw thing like that from so many different countries around the world. It's an amazing experience and I thank them for the I, International AIDS Society for doing that, the IAS. Um, but, um, but they have sponsors, right? The, the, the pharmaceutical company that makes my medication, Victarvi, Gilead, is also sponsoring AIDS 2022 with other companies including Pfizer <laughs> so it's like these these companies you know they have a lot to gain by putting on this global village to show it's called tokenism it's called tokenism oh you poor poor HIV person so I my wife last Sunday she um, she said why don't you ask them if they know of any sponsors and so I looked up who their sponsors was in Gilead hey that's the maker of my pharmaceutical I've been trying to get a hold of them for a month now no they, they nobody will talk to me I don't know what it is. You think they would want a first HIV positive rock band with openly HIV positive singers um, to, uh, you know, say, hey, Gilead sponsored us. Go Big Tarvi, right? Get on that medication so they get, get paid more. But no, they don't. They don't. What is this agenda? That's why it feels satanic to me. You know, this, that's, I come from a Christian upbringing, so those are the words I use, but I don't, it can be, those that's a sentiment that I have the emotion I'm behind the words call it you know profit the whatever you want to frame it it's not good it's not good the way our world works people at the top want to keep us normies down our everyday folk down why do they want to do that because they don't want to they don't want to compete they want to keep their click small as possible so they can reap the most war so they can live like emperors like kings so it was like, instead of sharing it with the rest of us. Anyways, guys, take care.